I had two secretaries. I had an equipment man. I had a trainer. I had a team doctor. I had a senior manager. I had three assistant coaches. I had an academic advisor. I had uh, a janitor. I'm trying to think of all the people I had at the meeting. But I had this meeting and I brought everybody in. And everybody needed to make more of a commitment. There are so many areas that you have to cover. You know, building a home, whatever yours is, that's one area. But there are so many people that have to be involved. Uh, you know, I, I, my daughter watches that extreme makeover, is that what it is on the weekends, you know, where you build a home in nine and a half seconds or something like that, and it's, uh, it's an amazing show, but it shows what can be done when a lot of people get involved and are on the same page. So we had people in there that were assistant prince, uh, ADs, uh, ticket sales, student tickets. Um, when I got the job, we 11,000 people there. You know, sell out is 15.5. Uh, we had so many different things. I saw the word cheerleaders up there. We met with the cheerleaders. We met with the pep band. We met with concessions people. We actually changed the food we had in the place. I mean, I can't tell you how many things I got involved with those first couple of years to try to right the ship and take it to another level. Now, Judd Heathcote was there. He's the winningest coach in the history of Michigan State. They won a a national championship, uh, you know, as I tell him, uh, if I took one of you in this room and gave you Magic Johnson, you have a good chance to win a national championship. <laughs> so, you know, he won a national championship with Magic Johnson and, and then they were on a like, uh, you know, a long hiatus where we didn't uh, do much. So trying to bring it all back, trying to regroup everybody was what I was doing. Number one key after that meeting was everybody started to get on the same page. And to this day, I think I have the only janitor in the nation that has a national championship ring because I made him a big part of what we did. And when we won that national championship three years later and I presented him with that ring and he cried, I realized how important it is to make sure you take care of everybody in your organization one way or another. Building a program but not a team is what I'm all about. I'm in it for the long haul. And anytime you're shortcutting it, you're probably cheating some people. I was saying in my locker room, PPTPW, players play, tough players win. After our national championship, I got back to the locker room and one of my players had put a C on the end of it. Tough players win championships. Because a lot of people can be successful and win. But I'm sure you're no different than me in my profession. I'm sure you want to win championships. I'm sure you want to be the best in your field.